Hello, you guys. It's me. Okay, I just finished. I'm at the airport in Chicago. And waiting for my ride so that I can go sit down and rest. I've already changed clothes, my Texas shirt, taken off my shoes. Because my feet was hurting. Anyway, waiting on my girlfriend to come pick me up so we could go have a drink and I could sit down and chill. Oh my God. I just did two flights on this plane called CRJ. I've never done the CRJ before. They have first class people and then they have regular. I got to work the first class. Wow. Not so wow when you don't know what the heck you're doing. Or should I say, what the hell you doing? Anyway, uh, I had to do two flights. The first one, my instructor helped me out, showed me what to do, but the flights were only an hour long. So, in the return, she told me that I had to do it, see how much I could remember to do myself. So I started doing it. And for first class, you got to offer them drinks before they take off. And then after that, I had to do the PAs where you have to say, where, you know, make sure you're on the right plane, da di da di da. And then you got to get the paperwork, and then you got to tell them where they're flying to and what the altitude will be and the temperature. And then after that, you got to go back and make sure that everybody's good in first class, take jackets, hang up jackets, write the seat numbers down so that you can remember who the hell's jacket went to who. And then, after that, you gotta go back and make sure everything's good to go with the captain, go back and collect glasses because it will cups before while you're on the ground and throw away everything make sure everybody put their seat belts on and their seats up and their trays up then go back and do another announcement well no you got to make sure that the pilot give you paperwork and then the person on the ground give you paperwork so that everybody's in sync with what's going on they got to take the thing off of the door then you got to close the door and lock it then you got to do another PA, public announcement, tell everybody the doors is closed. Then you got to go back and make sure that you uh, check your people again. And then you got to, uh, after that, after you check them, then you have to um, go back and what else did you have to do? Uh, I had to, was supposed to be doing a pub, uh, the safety thing where you show people how to take their seat belts and loose and put the mask on. And everything got so crazy on the second thing that I went and sat in my seat and forgot to do it. That is a no-no. That is a federal offense, I was told. And I, my instructor signaled me to get my behind back up and go back in the front and do my safety demo so I did the safety demo then I came back I thought she was signaling me earlier to go sit my butt down I was all confused anyway had to make sure everything was cleaned up make sure all the locks are on everything so that nothing will fly out of the kitchen area while you're in there um, yeah and then after that did that and then I had to do I don't know what else oh then I had to go sit down wait for the plane to take off then after that after we got up to where I could finally get up seat belts was off get up and go and make sure that I start servicing my first class people with getting the drinks and then you're supposed to serve them by saying their name so that they more have a more personal touch and then after you give them their drinks I'm not a bartender, so I don't know what kind of alcohol goes in a Bloody Mary to start off. Uh, at least when they would say vodka and cranberry, I knew vodka and cranberry. But when he said Bloody Mary, I'm like, okay, what alcohol go in a Bloody Mary? Okay, I don't know. I ain't a bartender anyway. 
Uh, so I had to remember whose drink was who. The way the chart was, it was messed up, so I got ready to give the wrong drink to the wrong people. And then I finally got that straight, going back and forth. And then after that, I had to come back out and give them some snacks and first class. And then go back and pick up trash from them. And then in first class, remember, you only use glass. You don't use plastic. Uh, had to figure out how to make coffee, too, for one customer. And then after I finally cleaned up all of that kind of stuff, then the bells was ringing for the captain, who was actually a female. She was telling me that there's an area that we need anything or whatever. And then after that, you go back and clean up behind people again, ask them if they need anything. Then you go back and you, uh, later on, it's finally time to land. So then you got to do another PA to tell people to fasten their seat belts, put their tray tables up and their seats up, go back, go through the aisles, make sure they did what you asked them to do. Then after that, you got to go back and then you, after you make sure everything is locked up again and then make sure that you do another uh, PA to, to tell them that Okay, you're getting ready to land. So then after all that, you go check and make sure again that everybody's strapped up and sitting up and da 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 da. Then I'm trying to think after that. I think I was able to finally sit my behind down because we was coming in for the landing. So then after that's all done, we finally get down to the bottom and uh, to the ground. Once she gets out of the active runway part where she slows down, we have to do another PA and tell people that they can turn their phones on. And then after that, there was gate announcements, which she gave because by this time I was so damn worn out, but I couldn't sit in the front part. I, I had to sit in one of the seats so I wasn't close to being able to read the uh, PA because the plane was still moving and the seatbelt sign was still on. So anyway, after all of that is over with, the plane is down, da 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 da, then I had to open up the door and I had to uh, make sure that I open the door and then open the closet where people could get whatever other storage stuff was in the closet make sure that I open the door for the pilot when they release their door and then wait for the people to put the bridge on the door so that people can walk off of the plane and then stand at the door and smile at everybody and tell them thank you for coming we enjoyed you with a smile anyway I am whipped I'm tired <laughs> What the hell was I thinking when I signed up for this? Oh my God! Oh, anyway, that was just today. Oh my gosh, I'm whipped. This was the last part of my training for uh, on-the-job training. You know, this was the seventh flight that I did. The other five that I did the last two days was on a smaller plane. And I didn't have to do all of the stuff that I had to do here. It was much more manageable after the second, third time. But this one, all of that stuff that I just told you that I did, I had to do it in about an hour's time.